Go downstairs for breakfast. Just one bowl, champ? Says me father. Uh, yeah. Confused why he would think I want to. He starts laughing. Huh. <laughs> Guess you were her out. Still confused. Well, just tell us anything you two want, says my mom. WTF. Go upstairs. Cortana, go to 4chan.org slash B. Sudden realization. My parents think Cortana is my GF and they are so proud of me. Start taking a breakfast and dinner upstairs for Cortana. My parents are so happy I became normal. Can't disappoint them. B me, 12. Going to the store with my dad. Just before big hurricane. Takes last bread loaf. Some lady snatches it from his cart. He tears it back. But we need it more. It was in my cart, just go to a different store or fucking deal. No! She takes it, starts running. My 12-year-old ass thinks it would be funny if I throw a can of beans at her. Hits her head. She's out cold. Dad looks at me. I swear to God, I didn't mean to knock her out. Be me fatso. Daily routine is to be depressed, go to work, go home, play video games and sleep. Next to the bus stop which takes me to work is a big gym center. Always think it's a normie shit place. Last Monday decide to go in and see what is happening there cause why not. A friendly Chad asks me if he can help me. No, no, I'm just looking around. He tells me that if I want they can help me, they can make me a workout routine. Decide to check it out, why not. It turns out a personal trainer isn't even that expensive. I buy video games for more per month and bought a month, who cares. Go next day. And another friendly Chad waited for me. He made a nice workout for me every day just 30 minutes till I get used to it. Also there is kicking and boxing stuff. Actually started having a good time and feel like I have a purpose in life and went since that every day. Actually started to feel better and I found differences on my leg after one week. And I didn't even play video games for a week cause I don't feel the need for it. Tried fellow fatsos as well. I never thought working out can be so fulfilling to my soul. Be me. About to enjoy a night watching Shrek 2, 2004. Got my popcorn, sitting in my chair with a blanket. The dear man starts speaking loudly in the voice of my deceased mother outside, trying to lure me outside. I just wanted to relax. Middle school. Pretty normal kid named Lewis. Average number of friends, not too weird, not too smart, you get the idea. Get assigned project on future careers. His turn. He leaves the room. Comes back with a box. There are hundreds of turtles in the box, literally hundreds. He trips, the box spills, little turtles fucking everywhere. What the actual fuck? He starts freaking out about the turtles escaping, literally bursts into tears. His dad is a herpetologist and there are his turtles. Louis stole the turtles. None of the turtles escape because they're turtles. We just pick them up and put them back, it's not like they can run fast. Teacher tells me to take him to the office so they can call his dad and pick up the turtles. He won't stop crying. Actually has a seizure on the way to the office. Spills turtle box again, all down the stairwell. Falls down the stairs with them. Splits his scalp open, hits his face. Turtles and blood everywhere. I have to run up and down three flights of stairs and collect the turtles while Louis is unconscious. Teacher later asks me why I helped the turtles and not Louis. I still don't know. Be me. Start suffering from problems I suspect may be caused by diabetes. Go to doctor to get help. Oh, Anon, are you really diabetic? Well, if you can live for a year without insulin, I suppose I'll put you on the waiting list. Self-med using dog pancreas extracts from Ukraine to avoid dying. Finally get approved and given insulin by doctor. Family discovers I'm taking insulin and disowns me. Some guy on Discord server is talking about how he is tired all the time and constantly dehydrated and pissing constantly. Obvious signs of diabetes. Tell him he might be diabetic. Someone shouts, stop watching porn and fapping, it'll get better, trust me. Get shit on for trying to insulin pill the guy. Why are things so ridiculous? We all know that John Lennon was a fucking hypocrite and that's why he's the worst Beatle. But today let's catalog all of his hypocrisies, I'll start. Write song about imagine all the people living life in peace, beat his wife, ignore his fucking son. Fucking MF. Write song about I am the walrus, he's not a walrus, he's actually a human. I fucking hate John Lennon. 
I'm 28 years old and have still never wiped my ass in my entire life. Even after taking a fat wet crap that leaves my flabby ass cheeks caking crusty shit. I see literally no reason to clean my ass when succubi won't even look at me. But that's gross, you are gross, everything about it is gross, suits you perfectly. My face when even wiping won't get me hot 5-4 plump goth gf with no immediate family emotional baggage or facial piercings. Life is unfair. In city center, need to use a restroom, need 50 cents, I'm 10 cents short. Start kindly asking strangers for them. Everyone is extremely rude, some people straight up tell me to piss off. Eventually just threaten some guy and take it by force. Why is everyone such a fucking asshole? And no, I didn't look homeless, I was wearing a suit without a tie. He <laughs> uses a suit and can't afford a fucking 50 cents fee. Alemeo. You will leave me a tip. It is mandatory. It is not a reward for excellent service. My boss does not pay me a proper wage. I will ruin your meal. I cannot pay my rent without tip. That is your problem. I will call you cheap. I will call you greedy. I am entitled to your money. Call us Euro poors all you want. Your mandatory tipping culture is as popular as hemorrhoids. Tip is a reward for le tip is a reward for excellent service, not mandatory pseudo wage because you can't pay your fucking bills. And before you ask, yes, I am waiter as well. Be me, working minding my own. Coworker tells me her cat died randomly. I don't give a single fuck. Ignore her. Get reported to HR. They request to speak to me quick. Tell them I'm not getting paid to listen to stories of cats dying. They say they are going to have a meeting and get back to me on this. Is this seriously happening? 750,000 volts are totally dangerous and deadly. Trust me, bro. Be me. Enjoying my delicious ice cream. A wasp lands on me. <laughs> it wants to be my friend. Stings me. Pain.png. I swat it away. I find the wasp nest where it came from in my backyard. I don't have any pest control items. I declare war on the wasps and toss what's left of my ice cream on the wasp nest. I go to work. Hours later, I come back and see ants have invaded the tree where the wasp nest was located. The wasps go apeshit and attack the incoming ants. The ants let the rest of the ant colony know that the ants are under attack. Incoming massive ant army. Wasps are now under attack. Individual wasps are held down by ants and stuck repeatedly. Must be a thousand wasps versus hundred thousand ants. I listen to Soviet march music from the game Red Alert 3 on repeat and watch a massive insect war break out for a solid three hours. Eventually the ants start breaching the wasp nests. Wasps abandon their nest with their young. Yeah, fuck them wasps, serves them right. Next day I see many corpses of fallen ants and wasps. Every day I salute the ants for their service and brave sacrifice before I go to work. I love ants. Be me, a 29 year old overweight bearded man with a passion for making food. Run a pizza joint in the middle of my town. My shop is loved by most of the town, everyone is very kind. One night at about 7.30 we're slowing down and ready to clean up shop when a boy outside the shop fell off his bike. I run out and help him up, he's crying. I get him some ice and offer him a Mountain Dew while we call his mom. His mom shows up, she thanks me for helping him. The kid jokes that we should go on a date. I laugh. His mom laughs and awkwardly asks if I'm single. I tell her that I am. Fast forward and we're on a date. Turns out she's a nurse and has two kids. The boy I helped who's six and younger sister who's two. Her husband was a drug addict who left her. Our dates go very well and she ends up helping me at my pizza place. We get married. Exactly one year year after meeting her I'm helping our kids with homework and feeding my family of my own. Never give up and always help others. It is worth it. Walk up to boss. Hey, anything we gotta do around here? Yeah, we gotta do all the drum breaks on the trailers but some of the bolts broke off so you'll have to melt them off with the cutting torch. Pretend he's an NPC giving me a quest. Money is my EXP. Each pay period is a level up. Level 208 right now. Keep grinding out the level, friends. Be me. Walk into LAPD HQ in downtown LA to get a background check clearance. Greeted by guard. Go through security. Take elevator. Go downstairs to civilian matters office. Office full of cops on their computer desks. See a cop browsing 4chan. Couldn't tell which board but it was definitely 4chan. 
LMAO, we aren't safe anymore, friends. We're literally being watched everywhere. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys.